Hello and welcome to Caravanning with the Misses. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for subscribing. If you have subscribed, if you haven't subscribed, if you wouldn't mind thinking about subscribing, then we really appreciate that. It's free. This video, right, uh, this is the second time I've done it. I'm gonna try and keep it short this time because I was babbling on for ages last time. So I'm gonna try, I've got the target of about five minutes. So let's see how we go. Okay, so this video is about, or this vlog is about what we've done with our car situation. We used to have two cars that weren't being used very much, so we decided to get rid of them and replace them with one car that will get used a little bit more. So car rationalization, there you go. Okay, let's keep this, keep this short, short and sweet. So don't mind if I refer to my notes on the laptop. I apologise if I'm reading it a bit as well, because I, I, I need to stick to the subject. Okay, so um, basically, yeah, the beginning of the year, uh, we decided to rearrange our, reevaluate our car situation as we had two cars sitting, most of them spent most of their time sitting on the road or the drive, um, and they were costing about a thousand pounds each per year in maintenance, insurance, tax, etc. So we thought, okay, that's not, uh, that, you know, it's costing us a lot for not doing much. So um, I'm, I've been an instructor for about eight years, but I'm, well, the last three years, I've been a um, part-time instructor. So therefore I can work my hours, I only do about 10 hours a week. I can work those around um, Sadie's part-time job. She only works Wednesdays and Thursday mornings. So we thought we should be able to just get one car and share it between us, great. Um, okay, so what we decided to do is we need a car for towing the caravan. The DS3 that I had for my driving lessons, that obviously can't tow the caravaning, caravan, but the Civic could. Um, so we decided to get rid of the DS3. Uh, we were going to keep the Civic, but then for my pupils, probably that's less than ideal because it's a bit worn. It's a 12 year old car, done about 170,000 miles, a bit worn around the steering wheel and um, the um, handbrake and is lacking in some modern features. So we decided to get rid of both cars and replace them with a one car that'll do all the jobs very, very well indeed. So our budget, not got a particularly great budget um, because, uh, well, we want to maintain our existing lifestyle. We're semi-retired without digging into our pensions. So we've given ourselves a budget of about 14,000 pounds. So what do we look for in a car? Well, it, obviously it's gonna be second hand and probably not an electric car because an electric car to tow a caravan is quite expensive. Um, probably not hybrid either, because again, very modern, quite expensive to tow caravan. So probably not though. So probably gonna stick to um, a diesel, because I like diesel. Diesel are good for towing caravans. Um, petrol, maybe not quite so. Uh, petrol's okay, but um, you know, you don't get the low end torque that I like from a diesel. So um, also in a car, don't want anything flash. I've never really liked flash cars, neither has the missus, um, because tend to cost a lot more to insure because they're a lot more nickable. Um, so yeah, nothing flash, just, uh, yeah, just, just a nice comfy car, nice and quiet to drive um, and cheap on the environment and or low impact on the environment, low impact on my wallet. So we decided to go for probably two wheel drive as well. I've had a four wheel drive car, but found I never really used the four wheel drive um, facility. I mean, even because we live on a hill, even when it's slippy outside, uh, the four wheel drive never got you know, it never um, triggered in the rear wheel drive. The four wheels never really triggered in. It was always just going around in two wheel drive. So not too bothered about four wheel or two wheel drive. Also two wheel, a bit cheaper to maintain as well. And probably cheaper to buy though. Anyway, so not only that, so make wise, probably leaning towards Honda because I've had Honda, two Honda, oh, we're getting towards five minutes. Um, we've had two Hondas over the last 20 years. Nothing's ever gone wrong with them. Happy with the service. We've got a dealer just around the corner. Really happy with all that. Um, obviously a dealer costs a little bit more to service, but we're happy with that because when he's fixed something, it's, you know, it's carried on. It's, you know, the service has been fine. And uh, when they fix something, it just carries on for the next 10, 20 years. So, yep. Yeah light Honda, did consider other cars from other manufacturers like Ford, um, Kia and that, but um, decided to pro hopefully stay with Honda. 
Um, and also Honda, I noticed, had a, a car, a HRV, which seemed suitable for our needs, really. Um, not too big, it's smaller than the CRV, so just nice and compact for Sadie, me, and the dog. Um, as well as just about heavy enough to tow the caravan. It's 1400 kilograms curb weight and the empty PLM of the caravan, it's been upgraded. So it's now 1300 kilograms. Um, so yeah, those two are fine. So quite happy with that. Um, and also the HRV has a really, 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 really nice engine actually. Uh, quite like, I know other cars have similar engines occasionally, um, but yeah, 1.6 diesel gives you about, on average, about 70 miles to the gallon without towing a caravan. Um, so, and gives you about 300 nano meet, uh, newton meters of torque at 2000 RPM. Um, so, which I really like, because obviously it's nice having that extra, having the power down uh, when you're not doing many revs for motorway cruising. Also, the HRV comes with a nice uh, Garmin sat nav, which has got all sorts of features, including it tells you where the nearest vegan restaurant is, which is handy for us. Um, also tells you how much each journey has cost uh, based on the amount of diesel you've used, which is great. Um, uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't tell you caravan routes. You know, you can't tell it how uh, that you've got a caravan on the back. But I found in my experience, it doesn't really matter. You, you, with a caravan, you can go along country roads. Don't really need a particularly wide road for a caravan. So in my experience so far, it's not been a problem. Um, so not having a caravan friendly um, sat nav. Also with a HRV, it's got an ingenious uh, floating gear stick, they call it. Yeah, the mind boggles. Um, but no, it's quite nice because it gives you a bit of extra, a bit of extra storage for stuff. Um, and it's also got an amazing cup holder, magic cup holder in the middle. It's absolutely fantastic. So we like those two features. Um, so anyway, if you'd like a, a more comprehensive review on the HRV, let me know below in the comments. Okay, we've gone over five minutes. Um, so, need to crack on. So, we decided with our budget, blah, 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 we looked on autocar.com and we saw a HRV, 27,000 miles. It's almost like new condition, although it is five years old, 13 and a half grand. It was bought from Snows in the Isle of Wight. Really good service. Um, so, bought it, jobs are good, and that was back in April. Got my removable dual pedals for my driving instructor job, got those fitted for about 500 pounds. Uh, got the removable Witter tow bar fitted, you can see the vlog in the description below. Uh, that was about 600 pounds. Both of those remove, all of those are removable. Um, so depending on what I'm using the car for at the time, I can remove the other bits. Um, insurance uh, is £450 for us because that's no full no claims, fully comp, domestic pleasure including my driving, instructing and towing a caravan. So that's quite reasonable as well. Um, the HRV, we found it to be lovely to drive normally. If there's no caravan on the taxi, it is really nice, smooth and quiet. Love it. Nice acceleration as well to get us out of trouble or for overtaking, which is great. Normal usage, we we get between 67 and 77 miles per gallon. Yes, 67 and 77 miles per gallon, which is brilliant. Um, with the caravan on the back, that drops to 33 to 37 miles per gallon. Usually I get 37 miles per gallon because it's up and down the motorways um, but once or twice um, we've got 30 it's been about 34 35 miles per gallon so that's also pretty good as well uh, so we bought it in April it's now July since then since we've had it we've been to Wales Scotland Norfolk uh, we've been to Winchcombe Cambridge so we've done about 2,000 miles towing the caravan found it absolutely fine I say it's, it's quite capable at towing the caravan nice little bit of acceleration even for a 1.6 so we've quite enjoyed it um, so yeah so that's pretty much that we're quite happy with it so thank you very much for watching I hope you found this interesting our next stop is going to be in a couple of weeks time we're going to lovely sunny Norfolk a couple of sites that we haven't been to before so that'll be great looking forward to that um, so if you wouldn't mind subscribing that'd be awesome Laters taters